Welcome to the first reopening day of Typhoon Lagoon. We are here at one of Disney's two water parks. Blizzard Beach just closed. Typhoon Lagoon opened today. March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, AKA the day after my birthday. It's crazy busy, which we knew was gonna happen. Yeah, so I don't which... know how much we're gonna do, but we're gonna take you guys along. First things first, got her in a locker, because there's not gonna be chairs. <laughs> Did a bit. Where are we going first? Lazy River? Sure. We are starting off successfully. We actually got right in and found poop right away. And they're these kinds, which I like because they're yeah, a heck of a so lot basically easier to get into. they're they're like a little chair. I like these tubes. They it seems like they have a lot of extra tubes in the Lazy River today. They or were there's, ready for us. Or there's just not that many people in the Lazy River. Lovely overcast today. It's warm, but not like too hot, which is great. Appreciate. Also, don't forget, you can wear water shoes pretty much everywhere. I normally wear Chacos to the water parks just because they they have more support, especially because even at the water parks you do a lot of walking. So I like my Chacos or my Tevas. Chacos, I think, dry a little bit faster than Tevas, that's why I like those. But yeah. I prefer my Tevas. These reefs I'm trying out today, usually I love these shoes in general. I haven't actually tried them at a water park today. I love the Chacos, but they give me blisters, so we're going to give these a go. Uh, don't show my feet, because my feet are naked, and uh, there's a... I think that's a different website. <laughs> probably be comparing Blizzard Beach to Typhoon Lagoon quite a bit today and that's just because usually it's one there's a band-aid in the water the Lazy River at Blizzard Beach it's very very long I don't know I, I have a love-hate relationship with that one because there's not a lot of water like waterfalls dunking on you all the time but when we were there it was very dirty there was just a lot of a lot of leaves and pollen and stuff in the water here it, it is really nice and there there is shaded spots but there's also like not shaded spots obviously but here at typhoon lagoon there with the laser over here there's really no avoiding getting dunked on a really cool brand new perk that they are bringing to disney resort guests starting in 2025 if you are staying at a disney owned resort you can actually visit one of the water parks complimentary on your check-in day so let's say you're staying at pop century or the beach club or the polynesian or any of those resorts starting in 2025 you can come to typhoon lagoon or blizzard beach totally free but on your check-in day only it's a great way to check out the water parks if you've always wanted to do so without having to pay extra for a water park ticket. some new things on the menu. So we're at Typhoon Tilly's. This watermelon poke sounds super fun. This salad sounds yummy. You can even get a shrimp boil. So Typhoon Tilly's kind of by the lazy river. They don't have this special Moana or like the hey hey cones. It's just Dole Whip. I want a refund. Okay, so our options, where we are right now, there's Crush and Gusher, which is the water coaster. Or there's Misadventure Falls, which is the family raft ride. I think I want to do Crush and Gusher. All right, we're just going in strong. <laughs> I say that because with Misadventure Falls, I lost my sunglasses. I almost lost my sunglasses the last time we were here and rode that. So I think I want to do Crush and Gusher. I like water coasters. Let's go. 
The Misadventure Falls currently is 30 minutes and it does look pretty long. Let's see how Crush and Gusher is. Crush and Gusher is a water coaster. So essentially what that means, you're still in a tube, but they have like ways to kind of like ramp it up to make it go faster so that it feels almost like a water, like a roller coaster on water. They're very fun. I think there's three different slides that you can choose from. So very excited. We're gonna see how this goes. Hopefully the wait won't be as long since there's three slides. Nice. Wait time is only 10 minutes. So this should be good. of a truck when you get out. Miss Adventure Falls is still looking pretty busy. Very long line. So I think we might try and come back and hit this maybe closer to like right before the park closes. Maybe the lines will be a little shorter. So I think we're gonna head to the wave pool now because this wave pool is a lot of fun. For my SCA fans, there. If you're familiar with like the lore of Jungle Cruise and Skipper Canteen, all of that, and uh, High Harrison Hightower, uh, you'll probably recognize some of this. I want them to retheme Typhoon Lagoon to the Jungle Cruise. I think that would make a fantastic water park overload, overlay. Think about it. They could put corny jokes everywhere, and the lifeguards could have like Skipper costumes. How fun would that be? If you have little ones, they do also have lots of different sizes of life jackets, anywhere from like extra small, I think. Yeah, child extra small, all the way up to like a youth medium down there. So if that's something that you need, they have them here for you for free. <laughs> Tilly, which is the boat on top of the shipwreck thing. Uh, if you hear it go, bah, 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 that means the waves are coming. So if it's calm when you get in, just just wait a little while. They'll 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 come. As far as wave finding goes here at Typhoon Lagoon, basically it's a big circle with the wave pool in the center. So over here is where we did uh, Crush and Gusher. Crush and Gusher, and then you have Misadventure Falls over here. And then you have like the lazy river that kind of goes all the way around. You have more slides back in the back as well. So there's always something to do. There are little kid areas called Catch a Kitty Creek. I, can we just talk for a minute that I 
hate, hate the name of that. I'll, I'll, I'll let you put two and two together. Because, nope. So this is the other main dining location here at Typhoon Lagoon. It's called Leaning Palms. But here at Leaning Palms, they've got flatbreads, uh, sandwiches, beer, wine, beverages, and of course, kids' meals. I have had the rice bowl before, and it was very good. I think a little bit more of a healthier option if that's something that you're looking for. They also do have like specialty flatbreads as well. Like for example, I'm reading off the menu. They have a barbecue chicken and grilled pineapple flatbread and a, a Cuban flatbread as well. So different options that I, I really, really like. You want I think, the pulled pork sandwich? No. Oh. I want the barbecue chicken and grilled pineapple flatbread. And in case you're wondering like what Kayla's doing. You can mobile order here. It's very nice. So we're, not the line is very long. They have pictures when you order. They do. They, they don't. They don't on the actual like menu board up there, which is really nice. Leaning palms, the hours are a little bit different than the actual park itself. For example, Today it is 11 to 4.30, so it opens a little bit after the park opens and closes before the park closes. So do you keep that in mind if you're wanting lunch or dinner options here. Should I get a fun drink? Like what? I'm gonna get a fun drink, okay? Okay. I don't want water. I don't know if they have this out all the time, but they, they at least do today. They have water coolers with cups of free water that you can get. I definitely recommend because it does get really hot, even at the water park and you're in the water. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Oh. <laughs> wow. Always drink water. I'll come for you if you don't stay hydrated. Typhoon Lagoon definitely has better food than Blizzard Beach. This is... We found some good stuff. So I got the elote nachos. You could do shrimp, pulled pork, chicken, or tofu. I opted for shrimp because we like we know I like the seafood. And then I also got a frozen lemonade with butterfly pea flour on top. Honestly, it's really hard to mess up nachos, but these are really delicious. <laughs> Very light and refreshing. I probably would do better with like a straw to mix some of this up, but I don't have one right now, but that's pretty tasty. If you're a lemonade fan, this is very good. I am so excited for this flatbread. There's like pesto, chicken, uh, pickled onions. Ironically, I don't see... There's a pineapple right there. Oh, okay. There's a little, right, there's a little right, chunk right of pineapple. The sauce underneath is the barbecue. It's pretty good. It's just not very fresh. Honestly, I think it's been sitting a little while, but overall the flavor is really good. This is the non-alcoholic pina colada. Uh, it looks like a melted milkshake. Oh, but that is delicious. To be fair, she actually gave me the that first, but then she didn't have my lemonade ready, and I don't think she totally knew how to make it yet, so it took a minute to oh. get the rest of ours, so yours might be a little melty. It's a little melty, but the flavor's still really good. Nice and cold. That was delicious. That was so freaking good. We will definitely be back to try more things another day, but now we gotta go get a new battery for this camera, but I think we're gonna go try and do a few more slides and show you some fun little overlooks that they have here. Okay, it's been a minute since, I mean, we haven't done these since last year. So there's Mayday Falls, Keel Hall Falls, and Gangplank Falls. Gangplank Falls, I think, is like the multi-person, almost more like a raft tube slide. And then Keel Hall and Mayday are single ones. I do remember that these ones are pretty intense. I'm ready for my body to hurt. Each one of these, Mayday and Kill Hall Falls, are basically right next to each other. Each one of them is five minutes, so we should be able to knock them both out pretty quick. Which one do you want to do first? Uh, Kill there's, Hall? There's less people this way. I think there's less people in Kill Hall. Whee! Oh gosh. Ah! Okay. Now I'm going backwards. I'm not going Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh, here we go, here we go. Woo! Can't see a thing behind me. Oh dear!
same thing. That one's not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. I think Mayday is the one that goes crazy. So, if you think about it, all these stairs are just paying for the, all the calories that we're gonna eat in mini Joffrey Donuts later. We're off to a better start on Mayday Call. That one does hurt. <gasps> the tube flipped over over my head and like bonked me in the head really hard. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think that footage turned out very well. Because I had to hold I on. Didn't either. It's okay. I, I had to hold on to the handle. I couldn't like Same let go. Way, like, I gave up halfway through and I was like, nope, gotta hang on. I'm gonna fall out of my tube. At least I went frontwards the whole time. Safety first. So Gangplank Falls, again, right next to the other two that we just did is a 15 minute wait. However, I don't I don't know if I want to do those because you have to carry that giant raft what? all the way up these stairs. We are doing gangplank falls. Oh, is that oh, what we're? Yes, that's what we're on right now. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. We're doing gangplank what do falls. Mean? We're doing everything. So you only have to roll it like just a little bit. I thought I remember there being one that you had to carry a big raft like this like all the way up. But I, I thought it was this one. I was wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is how you get to the bridge. There's like kind of like an overlook walkway thing. I'm pretty sure this leads to that. Okay, so we just got off getting Plank Falls. It's really fun, but honestly, if it's a long wait, I don't know if I would wait for that one just solely because it is a really, really short slide. You're at a water park and there's not that many things here. So I would wait in line for anything. I don't think it matters. I guess we'll just have to. Oh. If Mark Allen had his way, he would just float in the lazy river all day. She's not wrong. I do like my lazy river. So if you heard that, that was the signal for the wave pool that I was talking about earlier. And then you hear like a little siren thingy thing. Basically, it just warns like little kids, maybe they're not the strongest swimmer, just warns them that the wave pool is about to happen. I love coming up here just because it's such a fun view and vantage point of like the entire park. You can look down to the lazy river. You can see all the slides and stuff. It's Makes... kind of fun. So for reference, uh, Gangplank Falls, right? We just did that and then it's stairs. If you kind of go around the corner, there's another entrance to those stairs and that's how you get up onto this bridge. So it's kind of the same staircase, but you do have to enter like from the other side if you want to get to this bridge. Otherwise, you're going on the ride. It's just a beautiful view up here. You can kind of see some of Disney Springs over there off in the distance. You can, of course, see the wave pool. Also, fun fact, there's a clock right there. Obviously, you probably can't see it in the video, but it is currently about 3.30, so we have about an hour and a half left. If you want really good pictures with uh, Miss Tilly, which is the shipwreck right up here, this is a fantastic, fantastic spot. We're like basically the only ones up here and it makes for great pictures. So that little like mountain pass pretty much takes you from one side of the water park to the other. So these were all the slides that we just did and then we did the mountain pass 
these are the body slides that are like right here. And so now we're kind of back over by like Typhoon Tilly's and we're kind of walking over to Misadventure Falls to see what the wait time there looks like. It's definitely a little shorter. So this says it'll be about 15 minutes. The line definitely looks a lot shorter. All right, update. After about 30 minutes of waiting in line, we finally made it in our raft. But we're not there. Still gotta wait a bit. So I'm not sure exactly what the holdup is, but basically with this water raft ride, you go up this like giant conveyor belt, and for whatever reason, it just keeps stopping. It has been pretty much since we got mine, so we'll we'll get there eventually. It just might take a little while longer. I'm sitting now, so I'm okay. Update. We've sat here for a good few minutes. I haven't moved. It's currently 4.23. We're about to move maybe approximately five feet. Hopefully. I don't know if we're getting donuts. Unfortunately. So I guess you'll just have to subscribe and make sure that you are so that when we come back, we can get donuts. Guess we should have gotten them earlier. It looks like we've hit the eye of the storm. Please remain seated in your raft. We'll be on our way again in no time at all. Oh no! That giant crate is gonna drop on us. Oh no! Yay, hey, we're almost there. Oh no! <laughs> I see the problem. So it looks like it's getting stuck. Something is. Lean forward when you get up. Yeah, and and what's tricky is like when you're all the way down there, you you can't you can't see what's happening. So they're getting stuck right before the drop. All right, we got it. We had to do <laughs> we had to do a little shimmy. Oh my gosh. Quite a bit. They don't call it misadventure. Falls yeah, no nothing. no kidding. <laughs> I got my sunglasses, don't worry. This is what I almost lost on my hang on. And yeah. Woo! Well that was a uh adventure. An adventure it was for sure. a misadventure. <laughs> it is definitely a fun okay, so, raft ride for sure. So basically what was happening is once you get to the top of the hill, you go down, right? To start the slide. Right. People, are, everyone's getting stuck. Every right single there. tube. We almost flipped out. The girl was like, the guys were was like, oh my gosh, we were fine. I didn't fall out of the tube. But. Yeah, obviously we were not filming during that part because I knew this it could get a little hairy. But it was it was a workout. Those those cast yeah. members were doing the most. Oh my today. gosh, she said that she's gonna go eat an entire cheesecake after her shift yeah. today. Anyways, that was a fun fun uh, last what ride time is it? to we, do. We got I time guess. for donuts. We've got like. 25 minutes. All right, yeah, we, we, get, we got time for donuts. Hopefully they're open still. Let's, we'll, we'll find out. All right. We got the goods. Last adventure of the day, dessert. These are the famous Joffrey's mini donuts. You can only find them at the water parks. Why? I don't know. If someone knows the answer to that, please let me know because I would like to write to Joffrey's and file a formal complaint. So with these donuts, you can get either a full dozen or a half dozen. We choose the half dozen when we are at Blizzard Beach right before it closed. That was a no, little too much. we got a dozen. Oh, I, that's what I meant. We got a full dozen at Blizzard Beach right before it closed. But this is the half dozen and then you can choose from chocolate, raspberry, or white chocolate. We opt for the white chocolate. We opt for white chocolate because that's the best chocolate. Also, if you have an annual pass, you do get annual pass discount on these. They're not as hot and fresh as they were last weekend, mostly because we're here at the end of the day, but they are still just as delicious. Those donuts are always a great treat. You can almost say that I would recommend that you donut pass up the opportunity to get those when you're at a Disney water park. Ha 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 ha. 
and that is our day here at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon Water Park. We had a blast today. It was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed following along. And again, let us know if you want to see more fun, loggy water park videos down in the comments. Wow, that's all we have for you guys today. Now, now go, go create, create your ever after. after.